Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this video I want to show you how you can create your own Lightroom presets. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Ramini, I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the romantic, the incredible city of Paris, France, and I live in Los Angeles, California. In this very short video, I want to show you how you can create your own Lightroom preset to take your own photo to the next level. Check it out! All right, guys, I want to show you in this video how to create your own preset because presets are so cool. You know, preset will save you time and will take you places to you that you don't expect. Like, oh, a photo you think is not going to work out and at the end it's actually going to work out. Let me show you a few examples. So this is a photo I shot in Tuscany. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to retouch it and then use my retouch as a preset for a similar type photo. So I have this habit of underexposing my... Uh, my sunsets because I want to make sure I get all the details in the sky. So I always start up by, you know, opening up the shadows, doing my white point, holding the black key until something like this. It's incredible how much data you can get in the data you can recover in the shadows. So you make, let me make this a little bigger. I'm going to hold on the old key and do my black point. You know, if you follow my YouTube channel, you've seen me do this over and over and bring on the highlights something like this. I'm going to boost the vibrance. And for sunsets, I like to go to daylight. And I like to uh, basically make a big circle around the sun, wherever the sun was actually here, invert it, feather it, uh, and add yellow and magenta in the circle to put more attention and maybe a little bit of saturation. Okay. And one thing I do, and that's, you can only do this if you've got the latest update, if you're a Creative Cloud member, is I can use Range Mask Off on Luminance, to, and I'm gonna, I am usually put it a third into it. What that's going to do is going to make it a little less strong, but it's going to put it behind the hills. You see, if I'm here, uh, this red and is influencing a lot the trees, which could be a natural. By putting it like this, it's going to be a bit behind. You don't see it too much there, but it's kind of cool. Okay, maybe add a little bit of um, magenta, just a little tiny bit, and um, and voila, voila, voila. Sometimes, you know, when I do presets, when uh, on my advanced preset, I play a lot with the use saturation minus. But on this one, I want to start simple. So that's a, a regular preset. Now, how do you do, how do you save this as a preset? Well, you go here in this menu, and you go all the way up here. It says preset. You see plus, and you click the plus here. Okay, I'm going to create a new group for this. So I'm going to go to folder and I'm going to create a new folder. So you go all the way there. Uh, I'm going to call this um, uh, Surge Preset Demo. Okay, so I'm going to create a group that's called Surge Preset Demo. Create. And in this preset, I'm going to call this Sunset. Sunset 1, for example. All right. I'm going to click on Create. And now let's take this photo, uh, which was shot in similar conditions. And I can go back here. You see here now on the left side, uh, I have different groups because I've got a lot of presets. So if I go all the way here, where is it? Where is it? You see Surge Preset Demo. Let me close the other groups so you're not confused. I'm only going to open the Surge Preset Demo. Sunset 1, I'm going to click one time. And boom, I got a basic retouching there. But remember, we use a circle, so I have to take the circle that's here and I can move it around there and put it where the sun should be. Okay, on this one, I think the colors are a little off. So usually, you know, I think on this one, maybe shade is going to do a better job with the color and like this. So now I change something. I can even, you know, change further. I can add some sharpening because I like to do, I always have this formula of adding like a 90% of sharpening. 10% of noise reduction for any photo which is 100 ISO and having 50 of masking. That's just my go-to thing, you know. And on this one, I can also add uh, basically a linear gradient and boom, linear gradient. Make it darker there. Add some blue maybe in the gradient. Okay, m make another one. I like to sort of close the photo. Now, when you use presets, okay, this is way too strong for the bottom. You know, so I'm just closing the photo. But when you make preset, you always have to check your black and white. So I'm going to hold on the black 
Yeah, it's a, maybe a little too much, a little too dark. I'm going to check my white. Yeah, not strong enough. You know, I really want to go to the limit. Okay, now that's starting to be something. You see? So, and I can now say, okay, this is going to be my Sunset 2 preset. Okay? And uh, so I can go back up here, click plus, and click Sunset 2. And you see, it's still in the folder Search Preset Demo. Okay, so it's a, and now I can even take my first photo and, and which is sunset one. You see, when you click on it, it goes to sunset one because it knows it's that's preset. And but I can go here and apply sunset two, which is going to give me a warmer look and see how it looks. I can take this photo, you know, and I can apply sunset one to it or sunset two to it, which, which will give me a variation of it. You know, it's pretty cool. Okay, let me show you. Let's try uh, some other ones. Let's try some Ansel Adams crazy black and white preset. So, open up the shadows, do some white point, do my black point, you know, basic, basic retouching, contrast, a bit of exposure. Now, for the Ansel Adams preset, well, first, let me go to black and white, sorry. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to black and white. And I usually like to uh, make my blue a little darker. Ansel Adams used to really make his skies very black. And I'm going to take the blue there also. Good. All right, so I added some blue, which is making the sky a little darker, anything which is blue a little darker, and I added a little bit of blue there. Now I'm going to do a double filter, a double linear gradient. So click here one time, lower the exposure, and I want to show you something. You see how if I, I'm, I'm going to overdo it, so you see I'm going to, you see how it makes the top of the mountains black? If you use this option, luminance, and go here, it's not going to do that on whatever photo you do doing. It's it's going to only affect the sky. Anything which is darker than the sky will not be affected. So I do one gradient and then I click on new. I make a second gradient. That's my classic black and white stuff. Really dark. Then I make a third gradient for the bottom. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to make a circle in the middle, always in the middle, invert it, feather it. And I usually boost a little bit the exposure and a bit the clarity in that circle. Okay, that's my go-to things. And I'm going to put this one there. And I usually duplicate it. And I'm going to put it. So what I'm trying to do with my black and white preset is, and that's what Ansel Adam was doing a lot, was making sure nothing has the same luminance value by adding a bit of light here and there. Like on the bright, you know, you're just making, uh, you know, you're making a variation. Okay. And then I'm going to boost my white here a little bit, maybe add a even more contrast. Okay, and I'm sort of happy on this one. Maybe boost a little bit the exposure, the white again. So that's a good drama black and white preset. Maybe add even more, more exposure. I really want it to be dramatic, very dramatic. Uh, maybe, yeah, boost the exposure a little bit. Okay, so that's one preset, okay? So now I can do, I can go here, click on plus, and I'm going to create... I'm going to say black and white one, for example, okay? Black and white one. And, you know, on this one, I didn't include, uh, you know, sharpening, and you would in normal times. I just want to show you a principle. So now my group here is called Search Preset Demo. It's got three presets, black and white one. I can go here, you know, and same idea. I can click on black and white one, and boom, I got a, uh, you know, I got a retouch there, but I can, you know, I can make it different. I can make it brighter, I can, you know, move around the circles, you know, and you have to move around the circles for every photo that you do, because the circles are made to break, uh, you just put it on something that has the same luminosity, okay, and then uh, you see we have a problem on this one, because the second, this, this, uh, you see how th this is very dark, because this one I forgot to use the option of luminance, and and, uh, and make it a little brighter, a little bit brighter like this. Uh, okay. All right. And on this one, I actually want to make, uh, you know, add more circles. So I'm going to duplicate it, make maybe a smaller circle there. I really want to make that, uh, that hill a little bit brighter. And voila, and I got a dramatic black and white. You know, on this one, I can add maybe a bit of clarity, make it a bit different. And now... You know, I'm going to go to preset and I'm going to create black and white too, for example. 
Okay, black and white two, search preset demo and boom create. Okay, and so now I got two, I got two sunset and two black and white. Okay, let's make some crazy Instagram uh, preset. The photo I shot in New York and one of the look that works really well on Instagram is what I call the the contrasty desaturated look. Basically, the idea is you crush your blacks, you boost your whites. You open up your shadows, not completely, uh, not completely the highlights, but you boost your contrast all the way, and then you go into um, the uh, hue and saturation and luminance, and you boost a little bit all the all the warm colors, and you desaturate all the rest. Okay, it's just a look. It's just a very so you desaturate anything which is like magenta, blue, green, blah blah, and you boost which orange and then you lower the overall saturation and so you've got a lot of contrast you know a lot of contrast and you add a bit of clarity okay and maybe i'm going to lower the highlights something like this so it's a lot of contrast uh and not much colors right and then usually what you do on this on this one i'm gonna i'm gonna use the auto feature but i'll do that afterwards okay so that's the look that i, I like i'm gonna create this and I'm going to create a famous Instagram preset. Okay, same. Uh, and boom. All right. And then on this one, just to finish up, I'm going to click on auto. Never use the up the auto function in a preset. I find that it gives better result. But check this out. It's I love this. This is very popular on, on Instagram. So now I can take this photo of New York. And I can just play around with my famous Instagram look. Okay. And uh, I get something kind of crazy on this one. I would, you know, I would boost the, uh, you know, the the light, and I can go crazy. I can go the, uh, the, you know, you can play around. You can lower the saturation in the warms, and boost the saturation in the greens, in the blue, you know, in the purple for like a different look, a complete different look, you know. And then you could call this, you know. Instagram three or whatever. So it's really a creative process. I'm gonna, uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna give you this whole preset demo folder. Now, let's say you wanna, you created a whole bunch of preset and you wanna share it with the world or with a friend. Well, all you have to do is go to Lightroom, preference, and then you go to the um, general, to the preset tab and it's, it's here. Here it says show Lightroom preset folder. If you go to the, the Lightroom preset folder, it opens the finder you have to go to the folder called develop preset, which is here. And you see, I've got a whole bunch of folder because I've created over 400 preset that I use on a daily basis. And um, actually you will find a link here down below where you can purchase this for $27. You can get 400 presets that I spent five years creating for $27, best deal of the year, believe me. I've had many people which were very spectacle and they, they bought the package and they couldn't believe it. Anyway, so remember we created a folder called search preset demo. If you click on it, you see there is all the presets there. So you can just zip that folder, send it to somebody and now he's got your preset or you can download them from me and just copy and paste the folder here, restart Lightroom and you're good to go. You got the presets. All right, so let me talk to you about the preset that I actually use. The, the $27 includes 400 presets, but the main ones that I use is the natural everyday. So the natural everyday has got five different presets for blue hour, five different presets for day, five different presets for golden hour, five presets for lone exposure photography, five different presets for night photography, five for snow photography, five for sunset. And they're really based, you know, a pound, uh, basically. So the way it works, you've got like sunset basic, sunset leader, sunset circle, dark light, boom. On this one, I would, I would use light. Or I can say, oh, that's more like a golden hour. So I can go to the golden hour one and use maybe uh, the golden hour linear circle light. And remember, every time you do a preset, you have to go to circles and move the circle where the sun is. You know, and you get, you get a complete different look. On this one, I would crush the blacks a bit more, but boom, I got a retouch photo in two seconds. And, uh, you know, you just try these presets. I promise you. If you try this preset, you will be blown away. So this one has, the natural everyday is the one I use the most. That's, but the second one I use the most is the special effect preset, which is all the black and white that we went over. But I also got like HDR looks. I got Hollywood looks. You know, uh, look at this crazy HDR look. Hollywood, Hollywood. You know, um, let me show you some of the Hollywood stuff there. 
on the I don't know if this is gonna work on this photo, but yeah, Hollywood blue, light blue. Uh, I'm gonna go for the tilt one. I think it's one that will work better. You know, like complete Hollywood look. I got so many, and then I got famous Instagrammers looks. And then I've got all the portrait look, the wedding looks. It's all included. Check out the link below. Create your own preset. Buy my preset to support this channel. Buy my preset to support this channel. You will love them. Create your own preset. You know, I cannot tell you how many times I was like, oh my God, is this photo going to work or not? And then I try a preset and I'm like, oh, I'm blown away. Oh, it actually does make a good black and white or not. Preset is a great way to find inspiration. Mesdames and Messieurs, I will see you in another video. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a little like. That'd be nice. Also, please take a second to subscribe to this YouTube channel. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button and click on the little bell and you will get a notification every time a free video comes out. I try to do one or two a week, uh, always with really cool free stuff. So subscribe, take a second, I'll wait for it. All right, so you're subscribed. So amazing. I will see you in another video. Thank you very much.